everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to organize yourself and pack for when you are traveling so that you don't forget anything, but you're also only taking the essentials so you don't overpack. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure you do all of your dirty clothes washing because there is nothing worse than getting to the last day and having to pack and not having any clean clothes because then one, you have nothing to take and two, you have nothing to wear. So make sure either the day of or the few days prior to that, you do all of your dirty clothes washing so that everything is there and ready to go. And you can just set those clean clothes aside so you don't wear them and that they're easy to pack and you don't have to worry about going without. The next thing that you can do is start with all of your basics. I feel like this is the best place to start when you're going to pack. So pajamas, socks, underwear, bras, basic singlets, the things that you know that if you're not going to have, you're gonna be in a bit of a pickle. And I find that I feel like I've achieved something once I start packing with these things. And I find that if I leave them to last, I'm more likely to forget them. So it's basics first. Then moving on to like the bulk of your clothes, I know that it is really hard to pick out outfits for every single day, but if you can pick out outfits that you know you're going to wear for at least a couple of occasions, then you're going to keep your packing down to kind of exactly what you need. So here I've picked a nighttime outfit and a couple of daytime outfits that I can wear to some of the things that I'm going to while I'm away. I just find that if I pick some outfits exactly how I would wear them, then I don't overpack and then the rest I can kind of throw in a few pieces that I know are really versatile that will work with a whole range of other clothing items. Then it's time for makeup and toiletries. I keep it very basic. I kind of pack almost just one of every makeup product. So kind of like one foundation, one blush, one highlighter. That way it keeps everything very simple. Please let me know if you'd like to see how to create a very small travel makeup kit, even an everyday makeup kit. This is kind of just my everyday makeup kit. Leave a comment, let me know. And then when it comes to the rest of my toiletries, I try to select travel size where possible, whether that's buying them or actually putting them into a travel size container and then the other thing is to make sure everything is put into some kind of bag either ziploc bags which are life or an actual makeup toiletries bag so this is my little ted baker bag that all of my makeup fits into it's quite small so it does limit me which is a good thing because it means i'm not going to overpack and then the rest goes into ziploc bags i have a ziploc bag for my makeup brushes i also put my moisturizer into one ziploc bag on its own because it does leak so make sure you do that with anything that leaks put it into a bag on its own and then everything else can just go into their own bag. So I have a few products in this one. And then the other bag is just for all the rest of my miscellaneous stuff, deodorant, face wash, nail polish, my face creams, toothbrush, toothpaste, all of those things. So put it into a bag and seal it off. And it just means that everything is really neat and there's no loose items floating around my bag. And the last thing to think about when packing are accessories, which I feel like are the hardest part to pack for because we all wanna take 10,000 accessories for 10,000 outfits, but it is just not possible. So I tend to stick with black because black goes with everything and I only take one of each type of accessory, if that makes sense. So I've got one handbag, one clutch that I can use at nighttime, one pair of flats, one pair of fancy heels for nighttime, and then one pair of other shoes that can be worn nighttime or during the day, like these boots. I also have one other accessory bag that is a different color. It is the brown fringe bag, but I'm gonna be honest, I actually took this out last minute and I didn't bring it with me because I didn't think I would need it. So try and keep your accessories as basic as possible that will go with all of your outfit options. And then it's time to just go ahead and pack everything into your suitcase. So that's my packing tips and organization video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to turn on channel notifications if you are on mobile, it is the little bell symbol. If you are on desktop, it is the little gear next to the subscribe button which will drop down and then you can select uh, notifications so that you won't miss any of my videos. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. At the top here, you can check out my last video and down the bottom, you can see another one of my travel videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye.